Before he hears the sound of hungry mosquitoes, naturalist Jeff Maine takes every precaution against insects and the serious, even deadly diseases they can carry. There's West Nile that's associated with mosquitoes. Um, and there's Lyme disease, of course, which is dis associated with tick bites. Maine also wears light-colored loose clothing with long sleeves. He tucks his pants into his socks, and he uses insect repellent, avoiding, if possible, those with a chemical DEET. Consumer Reports has tested both types of repellents, those with DEET and plant-based ones without DEET. We think that DEET is really an insect repellent that you should use as a last resort. And you should certainly not use it in any concentration of more than 30%. Consumer Reports tests show 30% DEET works very well. So products such as Jungle Juice 100 with nearly 100% DEET aren't necessary. And with DEET exposure, there are possible side effects like skin blisters, slurred speech, and even seizures or coma. Consumer Report says avoid devices that clip on and use a fan to circulate repellent around you. Products like Off Clip On contain the active ingredient metaflorthrin, which Consumer Report says can pose risks to your nervous system. And their test done several years ago found it doesn't work very well anyway. Consumer Report says instead consider repellents that contain no DEET, like repels lemon eucalyptus or products with picaridin, which is similar to a compound in black pepper. Now, one caution, though, on repellents using uh, eucalyptus, that it's got it in it. The Centers for Disease Control says not to use them on children younger than three. We've got some other tips for you to avoid bugs. When you're sitting outside, use a fan if you can. It'll help blow the mosquitoes away. And after a hike, put your clothing in the dryer to kill any ticks that you may have brought home with you.